Okay. So we do solar around here. We're just coming around talking to the uh, Sorry, dude. Neighbors. I apologize, man. I guess. <laughs> no, man. That wasn't even... <laughs> This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. I'll uh, get the merch link in the description section. We got all new merch. We still got $10 shirts and $25 hoodie sale. We're trying to get the inventory out. This is your chance to get some of your favorite products for the low, low. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to get notifications anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, this was a funny video to me. And, and, and I, I just want you guys to understand the perspective here, right? So this guy is going to, I, I don't want to tell you too much, but let me just say it like this. This guy is going to do something that I think he regrets and that it's embarrassing. But in any normal sense, and people who are not softer than a wet toilet paper sitting on top of marshmallows wouldn't have a problem with this. But you, if you can see, this is posted by Benjamin Crump. And you know he's a race hustling, uh, 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 ambulance chasing clown, in my opinion who only want to focus on racism. The weakest black men on planet Earth, the Faber J eggs of society, just like Jericho Green says, they cannot just be normal. They got to be wussies. Can I say wussy? Okay, let me play the clip. And y'all tell me if you think this man is wrong. Comment in the comment section. Do you think he's wrong? Do you think this should even be a situation that people should be talking about? Or you think it's all bull crap? Roll the clip. <laughs> Hello. Yes, sir. Hey, how you doing? Hey, sorry to bother you. What's I'm up? Fernando. I work at Peak Energy. We're a few doors down. We're in 1845. Okay. So we do solar around here. We're just coming around talking to uh, Sorry, dude. Neighbors. I apologize, man. I guess. <laughs> no, man. That wasn't even... Now, let me talk about this for a minute. You know, clearly he didn't mean to say that. Clearly he felt bad about it. So, to be honest, let me just say, let me just say this. Let me just say this. With, if I was in that situation and a man said that to me, I would be like, what? But then if he was sorry and be like, oh, man, I, I, just, I didn't mean to say that or whatever, I didn't, it wouldn't be a big deal to me. I would not care. Let me tell you something real quick. Let me, let me, let me tell you something real quick. If a person was offended by what he said, I get it. But to me, you are, you soft. You soft. You a soft dude if you let a, uh, somebody say a word to you and you cry like a baby and go in the house. I mean, you, you can't believe you called me the N-word. And all you listen to is, I'm about to fall out this chair. All you listen to is N, 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 N. Now, let me tell you this. I'm going to say this and then I'm going to move on. Because I, I just can't stand the, 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 the hip, hypocrisy. This dude said the thing he was, he was, he, you know, he felt bad about it. Now, why did he say that? I have no idea. Maybe in his mind, he was just listening to Lil Drake now. And then he got there and said, don't say the N-word in front of this black man. Don't say the N-word in front of, and then he said it. That could have been the case. But people need to stop letting this word have so much power. It's, it's the hypocrisy of the word is what bothers me. You can listen to rap music. And they in, 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 in. You can sell the rap music to white people. And they're at your concerts. And you saying in, 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 in front of them. They singing the song back to you. And that's cool. That's totally fine. And then some dude accidentally slip out and say the word. And now you cry and run in the house. That, like, I just don't get it, man. I don't get it. The N-word has no power in reality. If a man called me the N-word, that's no different than them calling me stupid, dumb, Uncle Tom, coon sellout, which mostly black people call me. It's no different to me. I don't care. I'm a grown man. What you say don't bother me, bruh? Then you put your hands on me. Then we have a different scenario. 
But you know, the Fabergé eggs of society, which are black people, the most sensitive, see, let me tell you this. Black people are some of the most talented people ever to live. And they are the most sensitive crybaby people to ever live. I don't know of a group of people that complain and cry and is as sensitive more than black people. I'm just going to say it. I grew up around black people my whole life, just crying and sensitive. They call white people racial slurs 24 hours a day. In the rap music, they call them the C word, the saltine cracker word. Saltine crackers, okay? YouTube, I said saltine cracker. That's an actual cracker. They call them that word 24 hours a day, seven day a week. In the music, I can pull a song up today, and that's totally fine. Let a country music singer say the N word, even with an A on it and not the hard R. Y'all, they're crying. I can't believe. Remember the girl? Remember the girls at the sorority was rapping to uh, Kanye West's song? I ain't saying she a gold digger, but I ain't listening to no broke. And they they just said Kanye words words. And they, and uh, outrage. They should fire everybody. Sorority should be shut down. But little Draco and them. In this, in that, I roll up and kill her in. I shoot her in. I'm messing with her in's girlfriend, B's and H's. And y'all, to- it's totally fine. That don't bother me to call women B's, to call other brothers whom you claim to kill the N word. That don't bother me. That's totally fine. A white man slip out and say N word. I'm, I'm going to the house. I can't handle this. He said the N word. This dude probably living in a really nice community. I don't know how nice the community is, but this little part look good. Little wood floors. Little walk up steps, got a little affinity and stuff outside. He probably doing pretty well. The dude messed up, man. He made a mistake. He tried to apologize. And, and they want him to be crucified. I just don't get it, man. And black people just, I just don't get why black people just so in their feelings about this stuff. You go down the list. I, I can read it to you. Wow. Not an accident. Lord, this happened in H-Town. No one should use it. It was created to be derogative, insult, and cruel. No, no, uh, what is that? Compliment, not complimentary. Whoa, whoa. Sad for this black guy. Sue him. A hole. The dude just, the dude slipped out and said something that maybe he be saying all the time. I mean, let me tell you this. Let me, I gotta go on and I gotta say this again and, and just continue this conversation. I just, I just don't understand why people get so worked up. Just say that the man, in his mind, he didn't like black people. Now, in this case, he said the word, but if the dude, in America, you can't, it's not against the law for you to hate people. It's for you to, it's against the law for you to act on your hate against people. I don't care if white people hate me. I don't care, just as long as you don't treat me any kind of way. If I go to, if I go to the uh, uh, Starbucks, and the dude behind the thing can be like, I hate black people, in words are ruining America. And he served my latte like he's supposed to and don't give me no grief and be nice to me. I don't give up what you think about me. Some people don't like me because, I don't know, maybe they think I'm successful and they don't like it. Some people don't like me because they, they, they hate men and I exude toxic masculinity. So, so I don't give up. Uh, you don't like me or what you did. Just don't treat me some type of way. You know, and it, it's probably people around the country that's racism and their biggest client on black people. They take your money. Oh, customer service. They, they, they hate you. They hate you. They, they, they hate all you black people. So all y'all do is complain all day. And you out here keep turning up the community. Okay. Anyway, let me move on. But let me say this. You know, I, you know, I, I don't see this as a big deal. Benjamin Crump is looking to get a lawsuit, right? He, he want to get on the list to, to put this guy in his lawsuit portfolio so he can go out there and sue the company. Because he's going to sue the company that they work for. He's not going to sue the person because the person ain't got no money. he go out and sue the company. And then he makes some money, and then that's the end of it. Then he go to the next ambulance. Why did he stepping over dead black kids who have been murdered in the inner city? He's stepping over them to to chase these lawsuits. He don't care nothing about inner city kids getting killed because black people kill more black people every single year, all year long, than white people could have ever dreamed of in, in, in the worst possible scenario of a nightmare. I would argue, and this is a statistical proof, and I'll say this real quick and I'm going to end the video. You look at the legacy of slavery, 60, I think it was 68 years of slavery in the, in the United States of America. And believe it or not, white people were, were lynched too. However, the 68 years of, of, I think it's 68 years of the legacy of slavery, I mean not slavery, but the legacy of lynching in the United States of America. It was 32, uh, 34, 32, 3400 people were recorded lynched. 
are lynched on recording, right? Let's just say it's double that number, and half of the lynches weren't even recorded. You know, if you look at the totality of of that entire number, you you say that's about you know let's let's round up to like seven thousand. 7,000 people over the legacy of the 68 years of lynching in this country were black. That's one year in America today. One year in America, black people are killing more black people in one year. Not black people dying. Black people are killing more black people in one year than the 68-year history of lynching in America. And that, and I, I'm telling you, I'm doubling the number of recorded homicide, I mean, recording lynchings. I'm doubling that number. We can even triple that number. Ma matter of fact, let's 10X that number. Let's 10X that number. Let's say that there was 30,000 black people, 34,000 black people that were, that were lynched in 68 years. All you gotta do is, let me see, what would you, what would you have to do, five years? Five year period, because there's an average of about 7,000 or so black men that die at the hands of homicide every year. So six to seven, maybe five some years. But you look at that, you say six, every six months, there's about 3,400 people. So if you 10X, I'm doing some math for you guys. If you So if you 10X the number that we had, you add a zero on the end of it, that'll be 34,000. So in a six month period, instead of 10X and you just 5X it because it's half of the year. Anyway, five times that number, you say five years will equal 10 times the number of lynchings not being recorded. Only five years of black on black violence will surpass that number of 68 years of lynching if you 10X the recorded number. Okay, I think I did my math right. Anyway, like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all on the next one, I'm out.